underneath the theater for any reason at any time during the performance. You head right back out there through the exit you came in from. You see the little wavy thingy? I love the wavy thingy. Um, no flash photography. It could blind the actors. It could scare them. They might stampede. It's a whole thing. Um, and on top of that, please silence your cell phone. Um, and now, oh shoot, I lost track of time. Here, uh, really quickly, I just gotta do some train business really quickly. Some conduct the business of mine. Take his place. Quick. Okay. Of course. All right, now I would like to direct your attention over here to the master of the 88 keys, Phil Ward. by squandering his fortune. 
But sir, the, the fire is dying. Let it die. The warmth is sufficient. But sir, Mr. Cratchit, put another scrap of coal in that fire, and your next train ride will be to the unemployment line. Merry Christmas, Uncle. God save you. <laughs> bah! Humbug! Christmas, a humbug? Why, you don't mean that, I'm sure. I do. Merry Christmas. What right have you to be merry or poor enough? <laughs> what right are you to be dismal? You're rich enough. Humbug! <laughs> don't be cross, Uncle. What else can I be when I live in such a world of fools as this? Every idiot who goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips should be boiled with his own pudding and with a stick of holly through his heart. Uncle! Nephew, you keep Christmas in your way, let me keep it in mine. Oh, but you don't keep it. Then let me leave it alone. What good has it ever done you? Well, I believe I've always thought of Christmas as a good time. A kind, forgiving, charitable time. And while I thought I put a scrap of gold or silver in my pocket, I believe that it has done me good. It will do me good! And I say, God bless it! <laughs> <laughs> Let me hear another sound from you, and you'll be on that train, Bob Cratchit. First class to nowhere. <laughs> Uncle, don't be that way. Come, have dinner with us tomorrow at Ghost Town Grill. <laughs> No. But why? Why? Why did you marry against my wishes? Because... Because I fell in love! <laughs> because... Because I fell in love! <laughs> Good. But you never came to see me before my marriage. Why use that reason for not coming now? Come. Have boys and merry pie with us at the grill tomorrow. <laughs> Good afternoon. Why can't we be friends, Uncle? Good afternoon, nephew. Enjoy your pie and your frivolity without me. Well, I am sorry with all of my heart to find you so resolute. But I shall keep my Christmas humor to the last. And so, a Merry Christmas I say to you, Uncle. Good day. And a Happy New Year. Toot toot. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Scroogey Molly's, I believe. Have we the pleasure of addressing Mr. Scrooge or Mr. Marley? Well, that, that's Mr. Scrooge, Mr. Marley, isn't it? Uh, oh, we have no doubt that his generosity will be well represented by his surviving partner. <laughs> Mr. Scrooge, at this best season of the year, and we at the Calico Welfare Office believe it is our civic duty to make some slight provisions for the poor in the destitute in town. Are there no prisons? Prisons? Why, yes, the Sweetwater Prison is still in operation. And the mines, are they still in operation? Why, yes, though I wish I could say they were not. Many a father had died towing away in the mine shell. Oh, well, I was afraid from what you said at first that something had occurred to stop them in a useful course. I'm glad to hear that is not the case. Dirty hands are productive hands, as my father used to say. Um, so a few yeah. of us in town are putting together a fund to provide food and comfort for those in want. What shall I put you down for? Nothing. Oh, you wish to remain a novice? I wish to be left alone! I myself do not make Merry Christmas, and I cannot afford to make idle people merry. I support the establishments I mentioned. They cost enough. Those who are badly off must go there. But many would rather die. If they would rather die, they had better get to it and decrease the surplus population. <gasps> Good day to you both. Good day to you, sir. <laughs> and Merry Christmas. Bah. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Come on!
You'll want the whole day off tomorrow, I suppose. Well, well, if it's quite convenient, sir. It is not convenient. And it's not fair to pay a man a day's wages for no work. It's only once a year, sir. Any poor excuse for picking a man's pocket every 25th of December. Well, if you must have the whole day, be here all the earlier next morning. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And, and, uh, and, uh, and a merry never mind. A fool? Uttering Merry Christmas on his salary? A man with his family, all those mouths to feed. Deck the horse with bells of holly. Follow Get away from there! Before I run out in a ring, you little gutter snot. Be gone, you little scallywag! Go on, get, get! Scrooge made his way to his bleak home behind the calico bank. He always joked he'll have to keep an eye on his money. Nobody ever laughed, though. Business brings you here. Your welfare partner, 
<laughs> I'm very much obliged to you, but I can't help thinking a little rest might be more conducive to my well-being. Turn his luck upon me! Come, you must follow! But you are a spirit and I am mortal. How can I follow you? Bear but a touch of my hand and you shall be able. Come, your past awaits. Come on, Alabama! Good heavens! This is Virginia City. This is, I was a born here. I was a boy here. Oh, this is the happiest time of my life. I did strange. What? But you have forgotten. Look, look there. Why, it's little Milton Howley's just as he was. Can you see me? Yeah. Hello, Milton. <laughs> oh, oh, what's that? Oh, yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Nothing. What do you see? Nothing. Nothing really. Just a child. There's a child carrying outside my door. I wish now I'd given him something. Hmm. Come, let us see another Christmas holiday long ago. Why, it's my old school. Hmm. Do you remember? Yes, yes I do. Hmm. It is the Christmas holiday, but the school is not quite deserted. A solitary boy, rejected by his father, Neglected by his friends is left alone. Yes, I know him. He is myself. Is it Kitty? Yes, it is the past. She will see you as you were. Oh, oh, <laughs> my darling oh, Dear, dear brother, I've come to bring you home. Home? Yes, home for good. Home forever and ever. Your father oh. is so much kinder than he used to be. He spoke so gently to me one dear night that I was not afraid to ask him once more if he might come home. And he said, yes, today he sent me in a carriage to bring you, and you are never to come back here ever again. Oh, God bless you, Fran. God bless you. <laughs> we'll be together all Christmas long and have the merriest time in the whole world. Oh, Fran. I'll see that your things are taken to the coach. Hurry along now. Calico? Would you marry a poor woman from Sweetwater? 
and did not. So I release you. Fair. May you be happy in the life that you've chosen. Fair. so much. You know, on coming home, he told me that you know, all the people in the Church of Reflection saw him because he was a cripple. And it might be pleasant for them to remember who made the lame walk and the blind see. Oh, 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 and as I carried him home, he, he, he waved out, Merry Christmas! God bless us! To everyone we saw, and perfect strangers smiled back and waved and answered, Merry Christmas! And Tim called back, God bless us! God bless us, everyone! Oh, great, another one. <laughs> well, yee-haw, old man. Ain't you glad to see me? No. Well, I got a batch of biscuits in the oven, so you best be dead. <laughs> well, it can't be any worse what the spirit of the past showed me. I am the ghost of Christmas present. Because every day is a gift. Are you ready to skedaddle? No, I'm being haunted against my will. Too bad! You must understand what you have been <laughs> and what you will become. <laughs> May God bless Tiny Tim. Mm, I know, he's growing strong and hearty, my dear, don't you think? You'll see many Christmases yet, I'm sure. And Mr. Scrooge has given me the whole day off with pay. Oh, Mr. Scrooge. Boy, I wish I had him here. I'd give him a piece of my mind. Please, dear, it's Christmas. Christmas or not, he's a stingy, unfeeling old man. No one knows that better than you do, Bob. But, dear, Christmas. <laughs> very well. <laughs> he may be very happy and merry, I have no doubt. Go, there. Let's check on the children and the boys in berry pods. Oh, yes. <laughs> Spirit, tell me, will Tiny Tim live? I see a vacant seat by the hearth and a little crutch carefully preserved. No. If these shadows remain unaltered by the future, the child will die. No, Spirit, please, say the child will be spared. If they'd rather die, then they'd better get to it and decrease the surplus population. Did I say that? <laughs> no, 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 I cannot be angry with my Uncle Scrooge if I try. No, he is his own worst enemy. If he won't come and die with us here at the grill, he loses much more pleasant company than you will ever know. <laughs> no. <laughs> I will continue to wish him a Merry Christmas every year. He may not take it from me, but he shall have it nevertheless. To Uncle Scrooge, may God bless him. Yeah! How can he be so forgiving for someone who's been so cold to him? What does he hope to gain from it? Not everything is a gain as you see it. Some gains are simply warm feelings. Warm feelings for me? Hey, I'm just as confused about him as you are. We have gone as far into the now as we can. You must now look upon the shadows of time to come. Spirit, I know you're supposed to do me good and to help me to become a good. What's happening? Where is this place? Who? Who are you? Will you not speak to me? I know the third spirit that was foretold to me. I don't wish to see anymore. No. 
It is much past Mr. Cratchit's time. He walks a little slower these last few days. But I have known him to walk very fast indeed, with Tiny Tim on his shoulder. But he was very light to carry, and his father loved him so. He was no trouble, no trouble. Sorry, my dear. You went there to the cemetery? Yes, my dear. It'll do you good when you see it. It's a lovely place. And you'll see it often. I, I promised I promise him that we would walk there every Sunday. And he said that he'd be very, very happy. And that we shouldn't mind it. And then we shouldn't be grieved. And I was a little child. I was a poor little child. Mom. Mom. Spirit, answer me this question. Are these the shadows of things that will be? Or the shadows of things that might be? Spirit, answer me, please. Are these the shadows of things that will be or might be? The shadows of time to come. May be dispelled by an altered life. Thank you, Spirit. Can you show me the shadows of the time to come? What is to become of me? A cemetery? Look there. Ebenezer Scrooge. He died alone. Ebenezer Scrooge. Ebenezer Scrooge. Less. 
A great many back payments are included, I assure you. I don't know what to say to such generosity. Please don't say anything at all. You will come to visit me for future donations? I will, I most certainly will. Oh, I'm very, very advise you. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, oh, madam, if I may, uh, just one more thing. Uh, I should like to wish you a very merry Christmas. And a great many back payments on that as well. It's not how many you have missed. It's how many you have left to give. Merry Christmas, Mr. Scrooge. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, partner. I say 